and welcome to Makeup Mug Womp. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's palette parade is a twofer because last week I did, I didn't, I thought I didn't have enough to make a video and I was kind of wrong and I probably shouldn't have waited, but I did. So here we are. We've got two weeks in one, which is great. Um, I think there are a couple of these that I likely didn't take a photograph of. I apologize for that. It's been a crazy couple of weeks at work. So let's go through and see all of the palettes that I've used for the last two weeks. And I'll tell you whether or not I'm keeping them or if it's time for them to go and what I think of them. So the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today, which I just used in a get ready with me, is the Morphe 9V Vintage Rose. This is a new product to me. It's one of those nine pans that Morphe came out with. This is a beautiful look. I love it. I will be keeping this and I am so happy to have this in my collection. That stays faux show. And now in no particular order. Some of these I'll mention if I use them in a video and you can go check them out. This one I definitely did. This is the Laura Geller Baked Eye Dreams in Pink Sunset. This I used in the grungy Get Ready With Me. And I used mainly the darkest shade and then the, the second darkest shade. I did use a little bit of this fuchsia and then I used it, I think this is the inner corner. This was a gorgeous look too. It was absolutely beautiful and I loved it. It was different for me. I did like the whole grungy around the eye look. It was beautiful. This is not very dark though. I think that was probably the most shocking of it is that it, it it doesn't come off this dark in the pan. I was hoping to get, you know, a lot more darkness out of it. Could I say dark one more time? And so, it, but it came out beautifully. So now that I know what it is, I'm pleased with it. I just had a different idea. That's gorgeous. Uh, another, um, this was a quick shade. I, this is the Misha. It is called the Glitter Prism and it's a beautiful little glittery you know, marbly shade that comes out of pink wash and it's gorgeous. I just used my finger and swiped that all over my eye. It was beautiful. I had, I needed a quick eye look and I got it. This is the e.l.f. Clay Eyeshadow Palette in Necessary Nudes. This was very pretty as well. Uh, I'm, I, I like this palette um, for what it is. And to me, it, it, it's a, to, in my brain, I look at this and I go, that's a travel palette because it's small, because it's got exactly what I need to make a, a crease and a darker outer corner and a, an inner corner highlight. And then two shimmers that would work well if I wanted to throw a, like a, you know, like a Stila glittering glow in there for some, a different lid color to pop. I, that would be an easy one. This is a travel palette for me. Um, I know we're not currently traveling, but I do for a living for a lot of what I do and, uh, or I have in the past. So this, that, that's what that looks like to me. I will be keeping that. That was like a free gift with purchase with my e.l.f. product, uh, that I bought the last time. Here's an old limited edition Wet n Wild. I'm trying to pull at least one of these a week if I can, because I have so many of them. This is Girls Just Want to Have Funds. And it was gorgeous. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it. And I still, I'm a little bit, but I'll show you. I mean, here's a look. It's gorgeous. And I think I'm going to keep it. It's unique. This is an olive. This is a kind of a, a, a dark brown olive. That's a, a light limey. That's even got some, it's like a white gold. And that's a pretty dark color. Uh, you know, you can't get it anymore. If you have it, dig it out. Those Wet n Wilds are just a lot of fun. Here's a palette that was a gift. I did use this in a in a get ready with me as well. This is the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles and this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I did a fabulous beautiful pastel pinky violety look with it. Loved it. Love it. I love pastels so much. They make me very happy. And I wore them year round, but the, it just screams spring to me and I'm ready for it. Here's another pastel-y type palette. This is the Elf Mint Melt Eyeshadow Palette. And I did a look with this as well on my channel. There she is. She's gorgeous too. This shade, I know the next time I use this palette, whenever, you know, when we get to it, um, I want to do just all over grungy with this shade because I think it is very unique. Love that. Keeping that. This one is also new. This is the Trixie Cosmetics Daytime Realness Palette. 
it's blue. If you don't like blues, you're not going to like this palette. It is gorgeous, and I love her, and I will keep her forever. Cutest thing, cutest packaging, love her to death. The very last of my Revlon So Fierce palettes. Y'all, I loved these. This one is in the Big Bang. This one I did a, a pretty colorful look with. Um, I love these. Adore them. Have you picked any of these up? Did you love it? I just think they're so gorgeous. Okay, these two I used in conjunction with one another. These I got in an Ipsy add-on. I think I paid either two or three dollars for them. This is the Elamon Beauty their little eyeshadow duos. This is Ariel and Luna. And this one is Lilac Skies and Breeze. They look kind of similar, but they're not at all. I swatched them. Uh, this is much darker. I want to keep this one. I This is not unique. I love a lilac, but this lilac is not unique. So I think I'm going to pass the lighter one on. Keep this one. Th this one is stunningly beautiful chuck that. And last one is a Natasha Denona palette. This is the eyeshadow palette in five. Um, I got this in a boxy pop-up and I paid 12 bucks for it. And I, it's gorgeous. I did a beautiful look with it. It's stunningly gorgeous. And I love her very much. So keeping her. So only, only decluttering one this week. This one I was on the fence, but I loved the look so much that I think I'm going to keep her. And uh, yeah, that's it's a lot. I keep I keep too much, but do I? Because it makes me happy. That's Palette Parade for this week. Y'all let me know what you think down below. Do you have any of these palettes? Are you interested in any of these palettes? And uh, just shoot, shoot me a, a message down below. Like this video if you liked it. Well, hi, other dog. Can you come here? Oh, you saw the top of her head. Oh, there she is. Other dog never comes in here. Hi, Gertie. Hi, Gertie. Oh, hello. I love you. Okay. Other dog came. She never does. I don't know where Tiny is today. She's probably out squirrel hunting, which is what she does best. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it. I appreciate all of your uh, interaction with my videos. We are growing and I appreciate all of you for all of your help with that. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.